channel if you're new here hi my name is Anissa and I post a little bit of everything so you should just subscribe and check me on out anyway so today's video is actually going to be a week's worth um you're gonna watch it all today but I'm recording this not really a week five days five days of school um it's my first week of school online but I am making the effort to hopefully just start doing my hair and makeup and get somewhat dressed. I'm not gonna like put jeans on or whatever, but like just something that's like presentable but still cozy enough to wear on camera because I need to stand up for any reason. I don't wanna be caught in like shorts, like pajama shorts or like whatever. So I'm trying to like get this rhythm going of getting somewhat ready for the camera because if I do it for a full week straight, maybe I can continue it for the rest of the semester, hopefully because I tried it last semester and it didn't work. So I haven't even done skincare yet. The only thing I've done skincare is put on pimple patch because I have something new growing here. I think I grow, I get a lot of stress acne in this area. Not only am I on my period right now, but I also am stressed because I'm starting school right now. So I put that on. Um, I already put on this smack knee severe treatment benzoyl peroxide. I had to wait for that to dry. So now I'm weighing the Coco Kine turmeric Tonic. This is good for acne as well, along with just keeping from dark spots forming because I get a lot of dark spots from picking. So I just kind of pat that in and I'm gonna go in with my Luscious Lip Butter Goat. Also, I just wanna point out, I did do my nails. I did like a whole self-care thing where I did my nails a couple days before school started. I think I did them, today's Monday. So I think I did them like Saturday, no. I think I did them Saturday or Friday. I'm allergic to them. I did the, the, the Oppress gel nail extensions and uh, the gel x and the first time i did them my nails broke out in blisters and i was like my fingers broke out, broke out in blisters and i was like oh it's just because i got it all over my hands it was the first time i did it so i literally got gel like all over my acrylics and everything and this time i did a really good job of not getting it on everything and it just literally like broke out blister like i have a giant blister right there so um yeah, there's that. I, I'm coming now to the idea. I bought all of the gel tips though. So like, I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna get like a little thing, like hold them all so I can paint them and just like use nail glue and glue them onto my nails that way because I think it's a waste that I bought all these tips for nothing. So it's pretty sad. Anyway, I'm gonna take my little nubby finger, put it into my luscious lip butter. I'm really depressed about my nails. I was so excited. I was like, I'm gonna go in the uh, going to my first day class looking fresh I had to take them all off today but if you want to know what they look like I mean like I have the little nails here they were like little blue tips which nail did that go on I think it went on that one so it was like look how cute I'm saving them still because I'm going to try to like clean them up because they're a mess and I'm going to try to like clean them up and use nail glue so I can glue them back on whenever I want. It's so depressing. I'm so sad about it. Moving on, I'm going on to use my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocados because I'm my eyes. So I just grab a little bit, literally that much, and just do three dots under my eyes. And then with anything that's left over, on my finger, I just kind of like dab it around. I even go up over my eyebrow. I go under and over and I even kind of go like up here and it's just really hydrating I, I love this stuff it's so hydrating it just feels great now I'm going in with youth to the people superfood air whip moisture cream it's the kale and spinach one this one's so nice I love it I keep it in my fridge because it keeps it like feeling nice but I just take that much and I just bop it yeah I said bop it I do this bef after putting on the pimple patches because this kind of makes my skin um slick and the pimple patches won't stick to my skin if i do all of this beforehand so i always have to like wake up put on a pimple, uh, wash my face put on a pimple patch and then do the rest of my skincare like for the most part i don't even try to put on the benzoyl peroxide um before but if i have a lot of time i'll put on the benzoyl peroxide and i'll wait like 30 to 40 minutes and then i'll put on the patch but for the most part i forget to put on the patch after those 30 to 40 minutes and then it was a waste, so I don't even put on the benzoyl peroxide at the time. I'm also going, gonna go in real quick with my vitamin C serum. I'm almost, I'm almost out of it. 
This is from Lily Anna. I love it so much. It's my favorite. I just do a couple spots. My first class today doesn't start until 2.30. I said my first, my only class today doesn't start until 2.30, but I have two online like asynchronous classes. I have, all my classes are online, but um, my 2.30 class is actually like a Zoom meeting class. And I have two strictly online, no Zoom meeting classes. And then I have, I'm gonna work on the two. And then I have the 2.30 one that I'm gonna work on. Tomorrow my class starts 10.30, no, 10. So I have to actually get up a little bit earlier. Anyway, so I'm gonna let all that sit in my skin, try to like absorb before I put any makeup or anything on it. So I'm actually gonna do my hair next. Ow. I've been using this TGIN Rose Water Curl Refresher. It's great, I doused my hair in this. Oh, I've been using this, I just doused my hair in it. And it's been great. It smells amazing. It really refreshes my hair. I took a shower yesterday, so my curls just look amazing today. You know, that first like, the wash the, the day after wash day curls. Yeah, I douse my hair with this instead. I like to douse my hair with that because it's a little bit cheaper than my Curl Smith Moisture Reactivator. So I go back with this. And just any spots that I feel like look a little frizzy, I just spray those. Yeah, any spots that look a little frizzy or just look like they need a little bit more help, this stuff really comes in handy. And this means that I probably won't be going through as much of this one now. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more pricier. But this means it's like a holy grail item where I'm like, I love it, but I don't want to go through it that quick because I don't. Then I'm going to go in with my Verb Ghost Oil because this is my baby. I love my Verb. Now I just scrunch the oil through my ends. I also like to bring it all to the front. Then it fluffs up the back. I have like a really bad habit of just fluffing up my sides and then my back's super flat. So I like to try and bring that all up. I mean, like to me, it doesn't really matter if the back's flat because it's like, I'm staying home. I'm on a Zoom call. No one can see the back of my head unless I show it to them. So I don't care that much, but sometimes it bothers me. So I got a new shade of the L'Oreal Inflatable Freshwear, 24 hour freshwear. This is the True Beige before I was using the vanilla. I think it made me really like yellow orange. And it's not my color. Why isn't this opening? Okay. I think this is a little bit more my color. It looks kind of orange, yellowy on camera actually but I use the sponge it comes with and I'm not gonna like do my full face I'm just gonna do under my eyes actually that is my color I don't want to do a full face of foundation because I don't see the point especially since like I'm not gonna be online too long especially it's like introduction today I don't think we're gonna be doing much work but still I still want to look presentable I don't know if my classes are requiring cameras but I'm still gonna do it and also like it allows me to be able to like get more things done Cause then if I don't have my makeup done and I'm like, oh, I have school today, I don't have my makeup done. I can't like record anything or like take any pictures. But if I have my makeup done and I get down with class, I'm like, okay, game on, I can go do stuff. So I'm just gonna fill those in real quick. I don't have my mirror here, I have you here. But yeah, I have my little bald spot there that's not actually bald. I just like to call it my bald spot. I'm not gonna do eyeliner or anything today. I don't, I don't want to. Um, it's the first day. I just don't want to. But I'm gonna do my mascara, then I'll be done really. So I'm gonna go in with my Mystic Black of the L'Oreal. That's it for makeup. My desk is in front, in front of my window and I forgot to put sunscreen on. I keep forgetting to do that. So I have this Defense Refresh Resetting Mist. It's broad spectrum sunscreen, 40 SPF, super goop. I've been loving it, it works really well. So I'm just gonna shake that up. Let me get dressed. Okay, so then here's the outfit. Again, it's super laid back. I just have a really cute green crop top. Then I have these really cute, just like flowy, like boho pants from Torrid. Which kind of like keeping that there. I don't know. But super laid back. Um, this is kind of like the style I'm going for. Almost dropped my camera. This is kind of like the style I'm going for, just like while being at home. I mean, like, I would probably wear this on campus too, but I would also be wearing jeans and stuff, like, on some days. So this is the style I'm going for, like, right now, but, yeah. So this is Monday. See you tomorrow for Tuesday. Okay, so it is Tuesday. Monday went great. I only had one class. I worked on the one class and then two online classes, so I had three classes. I decided not to start working until 2.30, no, until 3.45, because that's when my class ended on all of my online stuff, and there was a lot of work to be done. 
the first day i mean now that i know the work i can like schedule it out better but i was working until 10 last night i took breaks i went on a walk with my sister so i took breaks i got distracted at times um but without the walk and distraction breaks i probably would have gotten done at like eight so um i'm gonna quickly try to do this because i actually have eggs boiling on the stove um it is nine i actually was able to wake up at seven today so i got up at seven i got some work done i got i finished reading a chapter for my class now i have to do the powerpoints today i have a class at 10 today i have to make sure i like load up on food today because um i have a an, a dentist appointment at three so i have to make sure i get everything done but i need to like do my hair and makeup my hair and makeup and put my clothes on and show you all within like 10 minutes so let's just go i've already had a cup of coffee which is so bad because normally i don't like drinking coffee on like an empty stomach so i made sure you like little donut holes again i'm trying to like load up on food because i have i'm getting a root canal i want people to eat for a while afterwards because if my mouth will be numb here's my second cup of coffee oh it's nice and cold the first cup was like warm still I hated it. I don't like warm, I don't like hot coffee at all. So first I need to do my skincare. I have not done that yet. Probably should have done that earlier, but here we are. I'm like moving and I'm like, where do I go? Now I'm stressing out. So I haven't done any of my skincare today. I'm not wearing a pimple patch today. So we're, we're there. So this is my benzoyl peroxide uh, severe acne treatment from Smacne. They sent me a whole line of stuff. I feel like this is the only thing that actually works for me. The severe acne treatment. I don't think they sent me like a normal acne treatment. And I don't feel like that works for me at all. So now I'm putting on the Coco Kine Turmeric, like I showed you yesterday. This is the vitamin C serum. Like I hate also eating right before classes, and my class starts at 10. And by the time I'm done like cooling down the parboiled eggs and cracking them and eating that like that and the sausage and my toast and everything, it's gonna be like pretty much 10. I hate eating before classes. It just makes me feel really weird. I don't know why. In-person classes, I feel like that's different for me. I've always been like, okay with eating. Like I'll show up still like finishing off a bag of chips or something, but like, I don't know. Eating at home or like on camera always feels weird for me. I feel like it's like, what are you rushing for? Like, I feel like when you're on campus and you just like rush to a class still eating, it's like, well, okay, that's valid. But when you're at home, it's like, why are you still eating? You're at home. You didn't need to rush for this. So I don't know, it's weird. I have a weird justification. I don't like look at other people when they're eating on camera and think that they're weird for it. It's it's just a me thing. That's a look. I look like Toad from Mario. So going in with the TGIN rose water. Oh, but I said yesterday I went on a walk with my sister. Here's some, I actually took some pictures on our walk of me and my sister. So here's some pictures. She has to do some PE for school. So we decided we'd go on walks because that's it's nice for both of us. And it's also a great break while I'm, like, when I'm in the middle of doing schoolwork. I can like take a break from it and go to her. I'm like, do you want to go on your walk today? She's like, yes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go on a walk today. I'm not putting on like foundation like I did yesterday. I really don't care about the spots on my face. Um, I'm just going to do my eyebrows and put on some mascara. Um, I don't want to put foundation on just because I'm going to the dentist. I hate when like, I'm going to be drooling and I don't want foundation moving because of drool. It's gross. If you guys want to see, um like a week of me dressing for online school like I'm going in person, let me know. That's definitely something I was thinking about doing, like dressing and doing my hair and makeup as if I was going in person. I dress and do my makeup totally different for in-person classes than I would like for online. Cause right now I'm kind of like dressing cozy, but like still acceptable. But I can definitely do the more like, oh, this is how I would dress if I was on campus right now, especially since it's like fall and this is my favorite time of the year. I bust out some really cute looks during this time. I get all the compliments. Okay, so eggs are off the stove. I got in my outfit. Initially, I was going to wear leggings, but I decided not to. So I'm wearing these um, really comfy, just like cigarette pant type style from Torrid. And then these are, this is just like a tank top. You've um, watched my Target haul in the past. This is why I was wearing the Target haul. I'm wearing a sports bra under just because I don't want to wear a normal bra. So I am super flat chested right now. Feels great. Anyway, so this is it. And I'm just wearing my slides because why do I need to wear anything else? I'm at home. But yeah, this is the fit. Super comfy, super cute. I like it. 
So yeah, that's it for today. So it's Wednesday. I got up late today, not super late. I know yesterday I got up at seven. Yeah, it was seven. And I was trying to do it today, but after my root canal was not in the mood. It, like my tooth just hurts. My gums just hurts. Um, so I didn't want to like get up this morning. It took forever yesterday. I am so happy I got all my homework done and everything before my root canal because I was at the dentist like forever and I had to go to the pharmacy and pick up um, my antibiotics and it just took forever. I didn't get home until like after six, close to seven actually. It was crazy. I was just really tired from yesterday. I didn't feel like, I even went to bed early yesterday. I just still didn't want to get up this morning. So I got up, I think at eight, I'm shaking the whole thing. I got up around eight um, and my class today doesn't start until four. It is three, three fifteen right now. So I'm gonna actually start getting ready right now. All day today I've been just doing homework. I'm pretty much done. All I have to do is read something and take notes and then I'll be done with that. I don't think there's anything else. And I have the class from four to 6.45. Only on Wednesdays. I only have to worry about it for Wednesdays. And then I'm pretty much done. Um, tomorrow, normally tomorrow I would have the, a 10 to 11.45 class, but she said she's not having us uh, zoom in tomorrow so we're totally fine we're off the hook for that so it gives me more time to do more homework I'm just really tired I can't stop messing with my tooth now because like the gums hurt so we're doing that I already did my skincare today because I've been up for a long time it's three something I woke up at 10 so I did my skincare already I put my hair down earlier but I didn't fix it up that's why it's like flat on top and I took a shower yesterday when I got home from the dentist, so it's gonna look a little flat today. It's like the first day of after washing it, it's a little different looking. But then as the days go on, it gets better. There's the other side. I'm not gonna go in with the uh, the curl smith one because it's first day after wash day. I don't really want to put that much in. I do like putting oil in though. So here's my Verb Ghost Oil. For makeup, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Like, it's pretty much gonna be the same as normal. Okay, and that is it for that. I'm gonna get dressed. Again, it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna go on a walk with my sister after class. It's really hot today. So I'm gonna get changed right now into something just really athletic kind of looking. It's gonna be leggings and probably like a t-shirt, maybe even just this t-shirt. I'm gonna go walking. Probably not this t-shirt. I have no clue. We'll see in a second. Okay, so fit for the day. So I throw my hair up in a ponytail. Okay, it is hot. I have my fan on. It is that hot? I have water bottles in my bed because I've just been drinking a lot of water. Um, trying to keep up on that water intake and I haven't been filling up my hydro flask like I need to. I finished my hydro flask and instead of filling it up, I just have water bottles. So I need to do better with that. I have clothes I need to put up, so I'm gonna do all of that after class today. But fit is the Billie Eilish shirt and then some toward leggings that have pockets, which is great for going walks in. I'll put on some like new balance sneakers that I have later. Um, but yeah, so that's it for my ponytail. My ponytail's super short and curly, but I pulled my little pieces out. So I have little fuzzies all around my face and that's it. So class starts very soon. So I need to go eat. Bye. Just real quickly, I'm watching All American before my class starts. I have like 20 minutes before my class starts. I like to join class early, but I'll probably leave my camera off. Um, I just want to shout out my dad for these awesome tacos. Just look how good they look. And look at this camera quality on these tacos. I know that one like fell over. Like, wow. Okay. I just wanted to shout that out. Okay. Gotta eat before I have class start. When it's Friday it is the last day of this challenge. It's not a challenge that I'm doing. It's just something I'm doing for fun. It's not a challenge. But um, taking my shoes off, I don't like sitting in my van. I need my shoes on. And I just bumped everything. Oh my god. So Friday, I don't have class, and I also made it where I don't have any homework today. I really crammed all my homework from Monday to Thursday, so then I have a three-day weekend. I don't do homework on weekends. I don't like to. Um, I like to actually give myself a weekend. Um, I think last semester I was trying to do Monday, Tuesday, I would do homework and everything. Friday was off. I mean, Wednesday was off and I would do Thursday, Friday homework. It was just a really weird lull in like the middle of the week. So I'm going to try and push for Fridays being my like no homework days. 
so because i don't have any classes scheduled to say it's perfect i'm gonna like this is like my three-day weekend but i'm like gonna hammer down on fridays being like my content creating days and my editing days since i during the week i'm doing school um there will be times during the week where i'll probably get distracted um get tired of doing work all day and get up and like record a tiktok or something or record parts of a youtube video but for the most part fridays will be that day so today i am actually recording a youtube video i need to go edit actually two videos i think i have planned to edit this video i have actually a lot of videos behind on i have a pinterest outfit video that i need to edit I started editing it and then all of a sudden like my system went weird and it kept like glitching and I was like oh my gosh my camera was glitching while I was recording I probably won't be able to upload this. I realized it was the uh, editing system I was using so I just like stopped. I haven't touched it since and that was like a week ago. So I have that. I have a video that I think will actually be up before this. No it'll be up after. It's um so you'll look forward to it. It's a what I keep on my desk during school and working um that just helps me out. So it'll just kind of go over like things I keep on my iPad, little things I keep on my desk that keep me like just going throughout the day because I get super distracted if there's too much stuff on my desk. But if there's like nothing on my desk for me to like mess with or something, then like I get really distracted and I feel like I have to get up and go grab something or I need to go do stuff. So like I, I kind of do a video on that. It's all in that video. I have a video I need to record because it needs to go up this week. Today's August, what's today? August 25th? 26 days august 26th to 27th i'm not even sure of the days anymore but uh i have a video that needs to go up like in a couple days that i need to record today and edit today so yeah super busy day my hair looks awful i didn't think about it last night i put my hair up and i didn't think about the consequences once i put my hair in a ponytail i can easily take the ponytail out but put my hair in a bun that's it like there's no coming back from a bun so i screwed up I should have thought better than to put my hair in a bun. I did um, a workout with my sister and because we didn't go walking, we didn't go walking the day before, like I said we were going to, and then we didn't go walking yesterday, so we decided to do like a dance workout. If you haven't tried this foundation yet, I highly recommend it. It also smells good. Like they put a fragrance in it and I have sensitive skin. So normally if there's fragrance and like stuff like this, I can't use it, but something about this fragrance is not a problem i don't know i didn't realize the other one i had smelling the other one i was using i got on i jumped on like the tiktok trend when it happened <laughs> um i didn't notice it like had like a strong smell or anything back when i was first using it and now this one has a strong scent so i was like oh boy but i've used it all week and i haven't had a problem so i think we're in a clear and if you have super sensitive skin like me I think it'll be fine. I have super sensitive skin. I change my like skincare routine and I instantly know whether something's good or bad because my skin breaks out. Breaks out, turns red, tur goes into hives. I'm allergic to weird stuff. If you uh, are allergic to gel products like Gel X, like the Oppress nail stuff, the Gel X stuff, please hit me up in the comments about what you do instead because I really want to have nails again. I used to get acrylics done. I just don't want to pay for acrylics anymore. And before the pandemic I had actually gotten gel X done and I was totally fine. Now with the pandemic, I break out because it's been like over a year. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know on what you do in the comments. I don't know why my voice just changed and I can't cough now because I have mascara. I'm getting questions from our Discord, from my Discord um, chat for my class. And I'm like, oh god. We do study groups, it's perfect. I think Discord is the coolest thing that's come out of like online. I mean like a lot of things that come out of online. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. There's something about Discord that I think is really cool because like social media in general has always been a thing. Like you could always be like, oh, let's make like an Instagram group chat, let's make a Snapchat chat, whatever. But like nobody's ever done that in school. I feel like since Discord become has become big, I know like so many more people who are like Let's make a, a Discord chat for this class. And there's like over a hundred people in it who are in the class because our class has over a hundred people in it. And we just all are like, hey, 
let's make a study group because we're needing help already on this quiz and we all need to study for this like let's go i'm not understanding the study guide someone help me like it's perfect this cord is definitely great for school i don't really know what what like else it's good for like i've joined a couple groups on discord where i'm like oh this will be fun like nobody talks on it and i'm like oh okay so for my hair i have to keep it in a bun but i'm gonna take this one out because this is like not the style i'm going for so i'm actually gonna take this thing i'm just gonna really messily without like because i want there to be some like movement still so like just really messily i'm just gonna grab it and make the messiest little curly bun i'll pull these pieces up aside i'm actually debating let's do it let's just try it okay and then i'm gonna spray it with my tgin here this is what i'm saying like you put your hair in a bun you can't take it back out the curls go frizzy and messy and gross they're not the same anymore Ugh, it's awful i'm also gonna take a little bit of oil just like the tiniest bit i'm gonna put it in between my fingers like that just on the tips I'm gonna mess around with I don't want there to be like too much hair hanging out but I also like don't care too much because we're gonna put a scarf on so I have this scarf I got like a pack of them off Amazon a long time ago and I haven't really worn any of them because I tried putting them on and I was like I have no clue how to put scarves on so here's me attempting again I think the issue is that I need to like have um, bobby pins in no matter what. They're silk scarves, so I have to put bobby pins in. That's just that's just the thing. I mean, that's cute. I don't have a problem with it. I think I tied my hair into the knot. No, okay. So um, it's way too low. I think I want like right about there, but now it's like not. I don't know. Got some looseness back there. I have some bobby pins in this little case right here. So I'm gonna just bobby pin it down into the place I want it. I'm actually gonna redo the bun up here now that I have this on and I see where it's sitting. I'm just gonna very loosely do that again. I think that's actually way better. Okay. We've attempted a scarf and I think we've I think we've nailed it. I think. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave these pieces out. I'm gonna put some lip balm on because it's been a while since I've had to put some on. Okay, and I'm gonna get changed. I'm just gonna throw on something real quick that will look presentable for the video I'm doing. And I'll be right back. Okay, so for the outfit, this is just a dress. I'm not putting shoes on just because I'm just gonna sit in my room, record a video, and then have to go edit it and edit this. Um, this dress, this is a really cute casual one. I got from Target a while back. If I was wearing this out, I'd probably pair it with a belt to like cinch the waist, but this is cute for around the house. I paired it with a gold necklace I got from Forever 21 a while back. I have my scarf and everything, super cute. So yeah, this is the fit. This is the Friday fit. And you go record a video and yeah. So yeah, that's it for this fit. Okay, and that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about school or anything, if this is your first year of college, if you have questions, let me know. Um, I will try my best to answer them. This is, gosh, I was at community college for three years, one of them being co uh, for cosmetology. And then now I'm at a university and this is my second semester at the university. So, have a little bit of insight if you need help so you can always ask um if you want to see a video of me like getting dressed for a week for online classes as if i was getting dressed for in person because as i said like sometime during this video i dress completely different co um, compared to in person than online because online i'm dressing pretty cozy i don't care about my shoes or what my bottom half really looks like uh, in person would be a little bit more thought put into it, jewelry, accessories, um, things like that. So let me know if you want to see a video like that. I can definitely do that. So let me know if that's something you want to see. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.